Welcome to Recording School Online. This is just a quick video to show you how to start using effects in Cubase 6.5. There are two types of effects you can use. You can use them as inserts, as you can see here, and as sends. Let's focus on inserts first. We've got two types of tracks set up. We've got our VST instrument and audio track. You'll find it's the same for both. On our audio track, look at inserts under here, left click, and you can pick any effect that you would want to use. Left click it, it's set up. Now that's actually on the track itself. In other words, it won't affect other tracks. Now if you're using something like reverb, and you want to have it on a number of tracks, you would want to use that as a send. Things that you would use on inserts would be more like compressors or EQs that are only going to be on that track. Okay, let's set up an effect that we're going to use as a send. Go to Project, Add Track, FX Channel, left click and now we go down to effect and let's choose just a simple reverb let's say here add track our effect pops up and we can also find it on our audio tracks and I can use this on all the tracks we have so far all the tracks in the project by simply going over to Sends and clicking on that effect. Then you want to turn it on, and we're sending the level to it. This is the level control to the effect, which affects how much effect we're going to hear. Now, generally, when working with Sends, here, click here to actually access the editor for that effect. What you want to do is make sure that your wet and dry mix when using sends is up to 100, all the way up. And we control the amount of effect by using this. Now, when you go to any of your channels, whether they be audio or MIDI, you will see the effect. Once again, turn it on, turn the volume up the way that you like, and there it is. Simple enough. Check out all of our videos at Recording School Online. We have basic, intermediate, and advanced. Thank you.